All right, welcome back to another Lost Ark video. You should already know what time it is. It's Friday, Friday Arconomics. Look, man, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. There ain't much happening in Lost Ark in terms of the market. Like I've been saying for the last couple weeks, but this is just what happens in between content cycles. You should be used to this. Blue crystals on NA West right now, though, 3,400. Not much has happened. Shock. Absolute shock and by that i mean there's not a shock at all market wise i think pretty much nothing is going to be happening until uh what's it called december soul leader might move some of the middling material prices a little bit um i don't think it'll be too too much obviously depending on how many people use the hyper express on various characters and obviously how many people make soul eaters you might see temporary spikes in things like Superior Arrayhaus, Prime Arrayhaus, Marvelous Leapstones. But I don't think there are going to be any significant uh, ups or downs, if that makes sense. Just because the price of materials such as fish are still where they've been. And again, the evil robot menace, the robots from hell. I mean, they've been unchecked for a little while. And like I say, every single Arconomics, it's always time to buy fish. Basically, I think fish is one of the safest investments you can make in this game for a couple different reasons. One, it's incredibly hard to lose money on this item because you can just turn around and continue to craft things like Orejas with it. And while yes, Orejas are tied to the price of fish or the materials to make it, the margin you can get on a Rehaz itself are so incredibly big, it's very hard to lose money on it. Uh, let me show you what I mean, just in case you are unfamiliar with what I mean. This is latools.com, made by Tapish, good man, great man. Uh, you can see I haven't used this website in a minute with the old prices. Let me type in what prices we got going on right now. Carp are 11. Pearl are 3. What do we got for relics? Because the only things you're going to be using to ever craft a house with are relics and fish. Rare relics are 6, not 76. In a ray house at 37. Then the price of reds. I'm selling mine for 36, three days. Purples are 20. Uh, I don't even track blues, but just for fun, I will find them. They are still 11, 11, three day probably will sell. So, and then we take a look at sort of the profit or loss per craft. So, if you use relics to craft red materials, you lose a bunch of money. If you craft anything else, you make money. Uh, don't look at meat. I don't have meat input. It's not worth it. I mean, here, just for the sake of fun, I'll do it for you guys. But you can, you'll see why I don't ever bother to do this. Because bots don't fuck with meat. And they don't fuck with it for a very specific reason. And that's because it's much harder to bot than it is anything else. But you can see here, even with the input prices, it's a heavy loss at every single thing you could possibly ever want to craft. Never use meat. Don't even consider it. Meat has many other uses like food, beasts, and bots do not bot it because it is hard to bot, apparently. I don't know. What I do know is, I think, like I was saying, fish, one of the better investments you can make in this game. Because look at the ceiling and the floor of fish. The ceiling of fish, we've seen something like 200 plus gold per stack um, back when the bots were at their lowest. And the ceiling, or the floor rather, is, I mean, it can go as low as it wants realistically. I mean, it could go down to one gold, but do I really think it'll ever go down to one gold? The answer is absolutely not. 
I think the lowest you could ever realistically see fish drop to again is somewhere between probably 40 and 80 gold. Like, obviously, that's a pretty big range, and it's 80 right now, and 40 is half of that. But do I really see it going lower than half of 80? Probably not, right? But let's say it drops down to 70 gold for uh, white fish, right? As long as you continually buy materials and you don't just, like, spend 3 million gold all at once right now today and buy 3 million gold worth of fish at 80, as long as you just buy a little bit here and there, you're going to be fine, which is what I typically tr uh, try to do. And let's say reds drop to 34 gold. That's 2 gold lower than it is right now. Well, would you look at that? It's still a profit at the prices of materials that you're buying right now, right? Oop, did not mean to click there for the tutorial. So let's say 33 gold. Hmm. Not much profit, but you're still making some. What if it dropped down to 32 gold? Hmm. Still making a little bit of profit. What about 31 gold? Ooh, just a little tiny loss. Now, do you see why I say this is like incredibly safe to invest money into as a long-term investment vehicle? Because if the prices of Prime Arejas are going down, that also means the price of fish and relics are going down, right? So as long as you don't overinvest at a higher price point that you'll never be able to convert into fusion mats at the same time, like, for it to go down from 36 to 31, that would probably take fish somewhere like 50 gold each, carp probably to like 9 gold, and you can see that would bump the profit back up to reasonable amounts again. My point is, if you are buying fish, you don't just buy it to hold on to it forever. Obviously, you can if you have a shitload of money and you don't have any use for it, but just do what I do, man. It's the safest way to do it. It's what I've always done and what I always recommend other people to do. I buy a ton of fish. I try to keep around 200k to 150k white fish. The other materials I just buy en masse because I hate having to constantly buy materials to craft fusion mats. But I'm always crafting fusion mats. This is always money. So I'm always cycling my old fish and I'm replacing it with new average cost down fish, right? It's not like I bought all 160k of this fish back when fish were like 120 gold or whatever, right? Maybe I have a little bit left from back then. Even then I probably don't because I craft fusion mats so much, but like you get, hopefully you understand the premise I'm trying to put forth. Um, that's really all I wanted to get past in this episode, mostly because this is the one thing that I think is worth talking about since nothing else is really happening with the market. And I think if you want to do something with your gold, I think fish or trade skill mats in general are a good thing to do. Like I said, you can do the exact same thing with relics. Um, it's just instead of red fusion materials, you'd be looking at purple fusion materials. I like red fusion materials the most because this is the end game material. Even still today in Korea, they use Prime Areha fusion mats. So if there isn't even a new fusion mat in the other version of the game that we are getting updates off of, I think... Even if I over invest into a trade skill mat like fish, I will have plenty of time to fix that problem, right? I don't know. Hopefully that helps. And when I say buy fish, I do kind of mean it in a very serious way. Obviously, I don't mean over leverage yourself into fish. I mean, just buy fish, man. This shit going up whenever the robots go down. And even if the robots don't go down, you should still buy fish to craft fusion mats to make money. It's that goddamn simple. That being said, I'm going to end off this episode with gem, gem watch, gem market watch, like we always do. 195, 197 for a cooldown. Damage gem is 433. Again, gems going back up in price. This makes sense because less people are selling gems. Mo more, most people are done spending gold on things that aren't more permanent-esque like gems. 
people aren't honing as much right now because there's nothing to really hone for. The people who wanted to get their honing done probably have most of it done. Uh, the people who haven't honed yet are probably waiting to get more bound materials in order to be able to hone. It just makes sense, right? So people invest in more permanent things like gems because gems will always be there, etc., etc. Anyways, that's it for this episode's, this week's episode, this episode's week of Arconomics. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, seeing you here every week, every Friday. Thank you all. Subscribe, like the video, dislike, comment, all that good stuff. Helps the channel grow. Uh, and a bigger number is a better person in my book. Thank you to all my YouTube members, of course, for help supporting the channel and keeping my lights on, baby. All my tier twos. I'm Nufu, Erizike. Uh, shit, I forgot all my boys. Remix My Life, Blitzel, Jacob Clouded, and all my tier ones. It's Biscuits, Inner Diz. I'm Audi, 9000 P's.